hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem square root of x over x equals 4 now this is still over 1 so we can simply cross multiply so that square root of x will be equal to 4 times x and that is 4x now, to remove the square root, I have to square both sides. So we have 4x in bracket to the power of 2. Now this is going to eliminate this. And x is equal to 4x multiplied by 4x. Okay, so to continue, our x will be 4x times 4x, which will be 16x squared. And this equally means that 16x squared is equal to x. Now, 16x squared minus x is equal to 0. What I've done is to bring the x to the left-hand side. Now, x is common. Here we have 16x minus x. x into x will give us 1. And this is equal to 0. So it is either x is equal to 0 or 16x minus 1 is equal to 0. x from here remains 0 or 16x is equal to 1. That is if I make um, 16x the subject. Now x remains 0 or 16x divided by 16 is equal to 1 divided by 16. As x remains 0, or 16 cancels 16, and x equals 1 over 16. Now, we have x to be equal to 0, or 1 over 16. Now, what do we do? Let's put this back into the equation, and see the equation is root x over x equals 4. Now, this means that we're having square root of 1, over 16 divided by 1 over 16. Now this implies that we have 1 over 4 because square root of 1 is um, 1 and square root of 16 is 4. So we have 1 over 4 divided by 1 over 16. Now this means we are having 1 over 4 multiplied by 16 over 1. So that we will be having at the end of the day 16 over 4. And 16 divided by 4 will give um, 4. Okay, so we're having 4 now. And it is 4 we had at the right um, on the right hand side of the equation. So this is to confirm what we have done. And then let's do this in another way, and you'll see how easy it will be. Let's go. Okay, to do this in another way. We have x to the power of 1 over 2. That is the same thing as square root of x. Then over x equals 4. Now, according to one of the laws of indices, I'm going to subtract powers from here. And this x is to the power of 1. So we're having x to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 equals 4. Then what again can we do? We are having x to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 will give us negative 1 over 2, and this is equal to 4, right? Okay, now, to remove this from here, we are trying to remove the whole of this from here. So to do that, we're going to multiply the power here by the reciprocal. So we're going to have x to the power of negative 1 over 2 multiplied by negative 2 over 1, because the reciprocal of minus 1 over 2 is minus 2 over 1. So this will be equal to 4 to the power of um, negative, negative 2 over 1. If you like, you can have this in power, in bracket rather. Now, this will go with this, this will go with this, and the negative will cancel each other. So we have x to be equal to 4 to the power of negative 2 because 2 over 1 is the same as 2. Now from here this is the same thing as x being equal to 1 
over 4 to the power of 2. Now, the negative has gone because of this 1 over. Now, from here, we have x to be equal to 1 all over 16. And that is what we got from the first method. Thank you for watching.